First Take is brought to you by Dish. Introducing Dish's two-year TV price lock. Just $49.99 every month for two years. Liberty Mutual Insurance. See car insurance in a whole new light. And Subway Restaurants. Get to Subway for the chicken and bacon ranch melt. Subway. Eat fresh. We have a great slate for you tonight on ESPN. First at 6 p.m. Eastern, Stephen A. and Lindsay Zarniak co-hosting Sports Center. Then at 7 Eastern, the Heat take on the Cavs. At 9.30, the Warriors take on the Rockets. Stephen A., you're in Cleveland. Who wins it? I have no idea because I haven't seen Miami yet because I didn't watch their game against Charlotte. I'm going to guess, guess that Cleveland will handle their business in their home open the last tonight, specifically since I was there last year when they let the New York Knicks beat them in their home opener. I doubt they're going to let that happen two years in a row, but it will affect my situation and my feelings no way regardless of what happens. I expect these two teams to meet in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, is it possible you don't want to pick against the Cavs because you got to go to the game tonight no. and see all those Cleveland fans? Well, actually, actually, that doesn't bother me at all. I don't <laughs> mind. I don't mind being oh. the bad boy in Cleveland by any stretch of imagination. Cleveland knows I'd rather be in South Beach. I ain't apologizing for that. I'm still mad at LeBron right. for coming back here. I ain't gonna lie to you. All I right. love the Cleveland I, fans, I, I, but I don't want to be here. Okay, I, I'm going to say because there's no Kyrie, no Shumpert, LeBron, bad if he back. I'm going to go Heat in an early season upset with Dwayne healthy Possible. for a while here. If they win, it will be because of Hassan Whiteside's presence on the defensive end of the floor. Have a great weekend, guys. See you on Monday. If the Los Angeles Dodgers don't hire an African-American for the only managerial opening remaining, this will be the first time since 1987 that baseball will open the season without a black manager. And in a game where some 40% of the players are foreign-born or minorities born in the USA, just one of the 30 dugout bosses, Atlanta Braves manager Freddie Gonzalez, is a minority. Stephen A., what do you make of this? Well, I think Major League Baseball has a problem. And I don't and I want to make sure that I absolve the commissioner's office from anything that I'm about to say, because I think that baseball through its RBI program, reviving baseball in the inner city, along with some of the contributions on the part of players. I definitely think from that kind of mindset, they should be applauded for the effort that they try to put forth. And I don't think anybody can ignore uh, the effort that Major League Baseball as an institution has tried to make in terms of that. But the numbers are clearly alarming because we're not just talking about Ar African Americans here. We're talking about minorities. We're talking about approximately 40% of Major League Baseball being made up from individuals from different ethnic backgrounds. But the people in positions of authority, the decision makers, the de decision influencers, those individuals are caught up in sabermetrics and analytics, not just in the sport of basketball like people been lamenting in the past but clearly also in the sport of baseball and that doesn't that doesn't appear to involve African Americans or people from minority backgrounds and that's a problem and it needs to be addressed because the fact of the matter is when you don't have a when Dusty Baker isn't called for an interview for this Los Angeles Dodgers job that's just egregious when we're talking about Bud Black or somebody else getting a Washington Nationals job when Don Mattingly shows an inability to handle his pitching staff or personalities in today's game but he agrees and reaches a mutual agreement to walk away from the Los Angeles Dodgers and before he has an opportunity to pass gas this dude is about to become the manager for the uh, Miami Marlins but you have Wooly Randolph who took the Mets within a game of the World Series. He can't get a look. Dusty Baker, he can't get a look. You're talking about Lopez, who's been a coach on the Dodgers staff for ages. He doesn't get consideration. It really is a problem. And Skip, I'm going to go back, not to, not to knock him in any way, because I heard where Bud Norris was coming from weeks ago in that article in USA Today about the brawls, and I respect his position in what he's saying. But as it pertains to this particular subject, Skip, please allow me to read this quote again. Quote, it's a culture shock. This is America's game because he's speaking about the 67 brawls that took place in the last couple of years and how 80, 87 percent 
was deemed as the main antagonist were guys from minority uh, 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 ethnic backgrounds. He says, this is a culture shock. This is America's game. This is America's pastime. Over the last 10 to 15 years, we've seen a very big world influence in this game. We, we're opening this game to everyone that can play. However, if you're going to come into our country and make our American dollars, you need to respect the game that has been here for over 100 years, and I think sometimes that can be misconstrued. He was talking about the players. I'm taking it a step further and talking about the decision makers. It is America's game. You've got guys from Dartmouth and Stanford and Harvard and all of these guys who never played the game, who've never been in a dugout, making decisions not just about who's on a roster, but who's managing that roster. And it doesn't appear to include anybody who isn't white. And that's a problem. And it needs to be brought up. I'm so with you on this one. This is such a bad look for a sport that has already lost so much of its African-American fan base. I've told you many times, back in my childhood days through the 60s, there were so many great black baseball players. And, and I think it brought in a, a larger portion, obviously, of the African-American community. And I'm, as we speak, I'm reading a, a new book from Bob Gibson, who was my favorite childhood player, uh, St. Louis Cardinals pitcher, for those who don't remember, dominated in the World Series. And yet we've lost so much of that, and now we've lost them also in the dugout. And I also want to reiterate the point that Molly made, that now that this game has around 30% Latin players, we have only one Latino manager, Freddy Gonzalez, with the Braves. That, that's, that's inexcusable, which brings me to my point, Stephen A. Why does the NFL have, have some, if not a lot, of success in this area? You know the Rooney, Rooney Rule? rule. Yep. We talk about it a lot, the Rooney Rule. M my friend John Wooten runs the Fritz Pollard Alliance, which oversees the Rooney Rule. It is working. Thank you, John Wooten. It is working because all it forces an owner to do is to interview black candidates and once they get interviewed three or four times and get their names out there it helps put them on the job map and it opens eyes of other owners and other GMs to say well, wait a second maybe we should consider so-and-so who just happens to be black and then so-and-so has success as a black football coach and it leads to more success there to, to my knowledge there's no Rooney rule kind of system operating in MLB no nope. and they are paying a price for it again only 8% of the players are African-American. But, but again, I'm a Dusty Baker fan. I, I like him personally, and I, I'm astounded he doesn't have another job because he's earned a job with the jobs that he did, obviously, in San Francisco and with the Cubs. So he played for the Dodgers, and you don't even interview him, and now all the, the reports are that Gabe Kapler will probably get that job. It's just inexcusable. Well, I'm with I, you, Stephen. I, I, I will tell you, Skip Bayless, before we get on out of here, I will tell you this. You know what's even more alarming than the numbers, the 8% African-American, the 30-plus percent of Latino players? You know what's even more alarming about the fact that there are no minority managers to speak of other than Freddie Gonzalez? What makes it even more alarming is that that appears to be exactly what these teams want in other words it's one thing to sit up there and to say it's a problem it's another thing entirely when you have a league not the commissioner's office but when you have a league by and large collectively that appears to have the the the, the thought process that says we have no problem with the way that it is. It's our game. We want to make sure it stays our game. And this is a way to facilitate that it stays our game. Because as long as we're in control and we're the ones making the decision, it don't matter what you do as a player because we can always get rid of you. But we're going to make sure that we're the ones controlling the strings and making all the decisions. That's the real problem here. Major League Baseball unlike any other sport, appears to be literally, in terms of decision makers, literally towards, like, they got the mentality, this is how we'd like it to be. 
We want to protect, we want to protect America's national pastime. If we don't have an African-American audience, so what? If we don't have but so much of a Latino audience, so what? And by the way, the Latino audience ain't going anywhere because they love to play baseball because considering the, the nations they come from and how impoverished it may be, they're always going to be interested in the sport because it's a moneymaker for them. So we ain't worried about them. We don't care about them African-American audience. And as a result, coming from Dartmouth and Stanford and Harvard and all of these other places, what I Saber metrics, our analytics, we can continue to ensure that the imagery of this sport appears to be exactly what we want it to be. That's what seems to be going on here. Seems to be going on. Baseball does have the Selig rule, which requires them to consider minority candidates. And obviously, as the guys mentioned, the Rooney rule requires them to interview. So clearly, what? it is it's not enough. And uh, what does that mean? I mean, what do they, what do they mean? They, they, you have to. How do we know they're considering it? <laughs> that's exactly that's what the issue is and that's why MLB continues to lag behind joke. the NFL and NBA in more ways than one after what Mark Cuban said about the Clippers last night Steve Ballmer and Cuban won't be kissing up and making up anytime soon first take is brought to you by dish introducing dishes two year TV price lock just forty nine ninety nine every month for two years Liberty Mutual Insurance See car insurance in a whole new light. And Subway restaurants. Get to Subway for the chicken and bacon ranch melt. Subway. Eat fresh. We have a great slate for you tonight on ESPN. First at 6 p.m. Eastern, Stephen A. and Lindsay Zarniak co-hosting SportsCenter. Then at 7 Eastern, the Heat take on the Cavs. At 9.30, the Warriors take on the Rockets. Stephen A., you're in Cleveland. Who wins it? I have no idea because I haven't seen Miami yet because I didn't watch their game against Charlotte. I'm going to guess, guess that Cleveland will handle their business in their home open the last tonight, specifically since I was there last year when they let the New York Knicks beat them in their home opener. I doubt they're going to let that happen two years in a row, but it will affect my situation and my feelings no way regardless of what happens. I expect these two teams to meet in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, is it possible you don't want to pick against the Cavs because you got to go to the game tonight no. and see all those Cleveland fans? Well, actually, actually, that doesn't bother me at all. I don't <laughs> mind. I don't mind being oh. the bad boy in Cleveland by any stretch of the imagination. Cleveland knows I'd rather be in South Beach. I ain't apologizing for that. I'm still mad at LeBron right. for coming back here. I ain't gonna lie to you. All I right. love the Cleveland I, fans, I, I, but I don't want to be here. Okay, I, I'm going to say because there's no Kyrie, no Shumpert, LeBron, bad if he back. I'm going to go Heat in an early season upset with Dwayne healthy Possible. for a while here. If they win, it will be because of Hassan Whiteside's presence on the defensive end of the floor. Have a great weekend, guys. See you on Monday. If the Los Angeles Dodgers don't hire an African-American for the only managerial opening remaining, this will be the first time since 1987 that baseball will open the season without a black manager. And in a game where some 40% of the players are foreign-born or minorities born in the USA, just one of the 30 dugout bosses, Atlanta Braves manager Freddie Gonzalez, is a minority. Stephen A., what do you make of this? Well, I think Major League Baseball has a problem. And I don't and I want to make sure that I absolve the commissioner's office from anything that I'm about to say, because I think that baseball through its RBI program, reviving baseball in the inner city, along with some of the contributions on the part of players. I definitely think from that kind of mindset, they should be applauded for the effort that they try to put forth. And I don't think anybody can ignore uh, the effort that Major League Baseball as an institution has tried to make in terms of that. But the numbers are clearly alarming because we're not just talking about African Americans here. We're talking about minorities. We're talking about approximately 40% of Major League Baseball being made up from individuals from different ethnic backgrounds. But the people in positions of authority, the decision makers, the decision influencers, those individuals are caught up in sabermetrics and analytics, not just in the sport of basketball like people have been lamenting in the past, but clearly also in the sport of baseball. And that doesn't, that doesn't appear to involve African Americans or people from minority backgrounds. And that's a problem. And it needs to be addressed. Because the fact of the matter is, when you don't have a... When Dusty Baker isn't called for an interview for this Los Angeles Dodgers job, that's just egregious. When we're talking about Bud Black or some